Hey everyone, Invader1 here. This is a review of the N7 Valkyrie. I only have it at level 1, guys, and for this gameplay, I am going to use the extra ammo capacity and the damage barrel, the uh, the old school original damage barrel, um, and that is only because I want to keep my power recharge speed and my Tyrion pretty high. And this gameplay, I am going to be using the Tyrion Havoc Soldier, and uh, I, I wanted to use the Tyrion Havoc Soldier specifically um, so that I could get the... Uh, damage bonuses from cryo but at the same time I just didn't want to use the Tyrion Ghost because it's uh, he's just so great um, and I know he would make this weapon even better but this is a Tyrion also and the great thing about using uh, the Tyrions uh, are that they have stability bonuses and you know they make they, they can pretty much make any weapon good due to the fact that they have all these stability bonuses weapon damage bonuses on the training and all and um, so now going back to the N7 Valkyrie, this is only at level one, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I did put you know armor-piercing rounds um, to make up for the fact that I did not put any you know armor-piercing components on it, uh, modifications on the gun. But I gotta tell you guys, um, I was very impressed. Um, even even dude. Even though I am using a Turian, uh, the gun is, is very stable on him because the Turians have stability bonuses on their passives. Um, if you use this gun uh, on, on a human character, or an engineer, or you know uh, the human soldier, or any other character that doesn't really have stability bonuses, this gun is still pretty stable. You 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 might want to use a stability uh, a stabilization dampener, but it's it's still not too bad. Um, it's actually really really good. So. These are the pluses that I find on this gun, the pros, actually. The pros on this gun is the, the, the stability is pretty good. Um, it's a little unstable uh, for non turian characters, but it's, it's just still not too bad. Um, it is very accurate. Um, it is a dual burst. It's not like the Argus that is a triple burst. Um, so you, have, you get two shots going out at once, which is really, really nice. That is that that is actually pretty good. I'm not you know a big fan of triple burst, dual burst, you know whatever how many burst weapons, but um, this one is actually okay due to the fact that it has a really decent amount of damage, um, and that's something that I did notice about this gun. Now mind you, I only have it level one, and this is a uh, you know one of the promotional weapons. Um, I, and and now that I'm playing it as a level one, I am using it this way. Um, it's it's not a gun that I will be using a lot at the moment in level one, but I do like it even at level one. So let me explain that. What I mean is that, I mean even at level one here in platinum, I am still able to do a lot of damage, um, uh, and and it's very accurate. Uh, it does it 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 does really. Um, it has a really good amount of DPS on it enough to, to take down bosses, take down banshees, which is something that, um, that you definitely want on higher difficulties. Um, this gun, it will, it will definitely be great on gold, um, silver, and bronze. But I gotta be honest with you, even at this higher level, you know, on platinum, it works really, really well. Um, I, I, I wish, you know, as you can see, I am mowing down through the enemies, but not too fast, not too slow. It's, it's just right, you know, and I think it's only because it's level one. Now, from what I can tell, from what I've been able to see so far, or being able to read on uh, the social network, and uh, on what the developers spoke about this gun, this gun is actually... Um, one of the guns that when you do level it up from level 1 to level 10 the damage increase is massive now I don't know ex the exact numbers but it seems like it goes up to about 30 percent higher damage than it is now and the rate of fire goes a little higher goes a little quicker you know it just gets a, a, an increase even in the magazine size and now as you can notice guys the magazine size is not bad at all I do have the extra ammo capacity and with that I get about 120 12 to 180 to 18 bullets I believe that's how much and I can imagine with a, a, a character like the Batarian who gets extra ammo capacity um, and a few of the characters that get bonuses for ammo um, you know this would be good kind of like the destroyer um, so th this gun so far I've tried it on the destroyer I've tried it on the uh, other human characters I've tried it on the GI I've tried it on the geth characters 
does very very well and it's very very good i mean i like the accuracy uh, i like the fact you know the dual burst I, I like the fact that it's not triple burst <laughs> you know that's one thing but as you noticed um i do have an armor piercing round three on this uh, on this gameplay um, so yes, I am gonna, you know, I am gonna hurt the enemies pretty, pretty bad. Um, but at the same time, you know, the gun is doing its job. You know, it, it is really, really good, and I, and I like the accuracy of it. So, um, yeah, with uh, with non tearing characters, you're gonna have to put a stability dampener, maybe even a level one dampener, a stabilization dampener on on your on your um, on your consumable. Um, but you know, even then, it's just not too bad, guys. And uh, in all honesty, I think that you know this gun um, is definitely going to be one of my favorites once I get it to a higher level than level one. Uh, and from what I am seeing so far, it looks like this gun is definitely definitely a gun you know to go for um mind you uh not everyone is getting this weapon right now i got it because well i have my manifest max out and i got it from the n7 day you know uh, appreciation uh challenge thing <laughs> so i you know i got that free pack that they give us and because of that um, since my manifest is totally maxed out, it had no choice but to give me the Valkyrie, and I was looking forward to getting it because I've heard quite a few good things about it, and uh, but I had not been able to play with it, and uh, I I think now that I have it, it's one of the few promotional weapons that you know the promotional weapons are the only ones that I don't have maxed out, guys. So I do have every weapon maxed out. If you guys have any requests or anything like that on review on a gun or any kind of you know like platinum build with a gun, let me know. Uh, and mind you, um, you know, these platinum builds, they all work at the lower levels, obviously. Um, and it, it, by the way, guys, pretty much most gold builds work at platinum levels too. It's just there's some some builds on gold that, that do not work on platinum. But, you know, most gold builds do work on platinum. Uh, it's I would say it's mostly up to the player how you handle platinum, how you handle the gameplay. I mean, how you handle the game, how you handle the waves, how you handle each faction that is coming at you. You know, I, I like showing you guys platinum gameplay because that's what I'm known for. Um, and uh, not only that, it's I also like to show you how um, a character or a weapon fares against various, you know, multiple enemies. Um, and on this gameplay, I do my best not to switch any other weapon. I did bring the Acolyte, but I brought the Acolyte mostly just to strip down barriers. Because uh, it's just such a great gun for that, and that's the purpose of it. So you will see me... You know, switch to Acolyte very rarely, but I, I, I do it here and there just for like the strip Phantom's barriers and then just to clean them up with this gun. And that's something that you may want to do, you know, when you have, uh, when you're using this kind of gun. Um, you may want to have the Acolyte, you know, as a side pistol just, you know, to strip down barriers and shields and then, you know, just go for the juggler with, uh, with the Valkyrie. Now, uh, another cool thing that has absolutely nothing to do with the weapon's capability is the name. I actually like the name. <laughs> I like the N7 Valkyrie name. It looks really, really cool. Um, you know, I, I, I don't like the fact that the gun seems looks so similar in design to the Falcon, but, you know, it is what it is. It, it still looks pretty cool, and it actually does really good work. Um, if you do put it on the Infiltrator class... Um, and you do use like the infiltrator tactical cloak bonuses you know you do get a huge damage increase even at level one so as you notice i am having i'm not having a lot of difficulty going through the enemies it does take me a little longer than than like for example the harrier but that's only because um that is only because it is at level one guys you know you gotta excuse it and again i i can't even imagine um this gun at level 10 it must be great and um i'm looking forward to actually getting it to level 10. now the thing is that this is one of those guns that you can't get off the store um now uh you can't get off the what they call the rng store right and for those who don't know what rng means it means random number generator um you know a lot of people were like well what does rng mean like what is that <laughs> random number generator it's just because you know the store kind of gives you um things at random and there's a certain percentage that you will get rares ultra rares depending on the pack that you open up for that day so those percentages i believe bioware has posted up somewhere in the forums but i just 
you know I have not really cared much to look for it because um, me mostly what I do uh, when I am when there's new DLC coming out I save about over a million credits I'll play platinum uh, gold or you know whatever whatever difficulty you know my buddies want to play I mostly try to play platinum because um, it's just you know it's just a, it's just where I'm at when it comes to difficulty so um, you know we'll play that and I'll save if you know a few mil and then when the day of the D DLC comes out I just you know I'll buy a ton of premium specter packs until I get everything and uh, as you guys saw in my video on unlocking retaliation that's pretty much what happened except for you know I, I didn't get a I, I, I got the Terry in um, on that on that day of DLC, that there, there, there were some issues. Uh, there were some issues when it came to that DLC. Um, I got the Turi and uh, Ghost like that car like a thousand times. It was ridiculous, and I didn't get a Volus. <laughs> I, I didn't get the Volus in, uh, Engineer, which was crazy. I got the Volus in Depth, but not the Engineer. It took me quite a bit, which was disappointing because I had quite a few million credits. But anyways, um, so yeah, so in the store, the RNG store or the Troll store as I like to call it because it is a, definitely a troll store um, you uh, you can't get this item there this is one of those guns that you get um, uh, on the weekend um, by doing the weekend challenges and for those of you guys that don't know Bioware has weekend challenges um, it used to be every other week sometimes it's every weekend now and what you do is on the weekends you complete one of the challenges the weekend challenge and immediately you get like you know a free pack that shows up on your store and when you get that free pack it will give you a rare ultra rare or you know some kind of promotional weapon if 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 you don't have it um but you know it all depends for in my situation i have been getting the you know promotional guns uh uh, leveled up only because I have everything else maxed out so the the store it, it has no choice but to give me something higher so right now I'm actually looking forward to seeing what else I get now because of that though uh, the Crusader has been one of those guns that the gun that the, the the store just keeps on giving me on the weekend you know challenges but when I get that weekend uh, promotional pack uh, from the store for doing the challenge I'm getting the Crusader a lot I mean it's a great shotgun but I it's not a shotgun that I'm using a lot all the time um, I'm not a you know it's a good gun I'm just not really using it but this gun right now in all honesty I am actually looking forward to doing a lot of the other weekend challenges just to get it up to a higher level now it is it, it is dual burst. Some of you guys may not like that because you know you guys might single single shot or you know you guys may want it to be automatic. That where it's just you know just zoom it. You just hold down the trigger and that's it. Here you have to actually tap the trigger um, for the PC. I guess you would have to tap on you know whatever button you use for to fire, uh, whatever key you use to fire. But you know here you actually have to tap it. You, you know it's not automatic. You can't just hold the button down. Um, at least I've tried. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is automatic, and I'm just doing it wrong. But um, I, I I held on to the trigger. It wasn't doing anything after that. So I pretty much figured you know dual burst, and I have to continuously you know tap the trigger to get the shots out. Now that doesn't bother me, guys, due to the fact that it's dual burst and the damage is really decent, even at level one. It is a little heavy at level one, but again, I am assuming that it gets lighter and lighter as the higher levels go. Now, I I don't have the stats or the details as to the damage that it would have on the higher levels, but it seems to be, from what I've heard, that it, you know, it goes up to 30% in damage, and at the same time, you get you know quite a bit of bonuses uh, when it comes to the ammo capacity. It's already pretty high. The ammo capacity is already really, really good. So I'm, you know, I'm not even too worried about that. So I have no complaints on that. And um, I, I, you know, I really was hoping that this gun was not going to be kind of like the. Um, uh, oh wow! I don't know what happened here, guys. There were some kills that I didn't even know what happened. I just immediately dropped. <laughs> but anyways, um, I yeah, must have been that phantom. But anyways, um, so yeah, you know, they, they, they 
this is not the Argus. Now, the Argus was such a disappointment to me that I tried to do a review on it, and I just couldn't even finish it. And you guys were so awesome to me, because you guys love me so much. You guys gave me challenges with the Argus, because, I don't know. <laughs> because I say, hey, this gun sucks, then you guys want me to try to use it. Um, I guess, you know, just to make my life impossible and see if I can do anything with it. So I did an entire solo with it. That's my You Guys Suck Turian solo. And I have it up. You guys can watch it. I did a, a solo with the Turian soldier um, on Condor <laughs> with just the Argus against the Reapers. Yes, on gold. Um, and uh, I got to do it. And it was one of the longest solos you could ever watch because the Argus was just absolutely insane. Um, but anyways, guys, this is not the Argus. Uh, and by the way, we did use the Argus again on the Bubblegum Farmers video where I just brought a whole bunch of engineers and we all use the Argus and we we all use um, in, in, uh, Solarian engineers. So yes, I, I've had enough of the Argus, guys. Please don't don't request anything with the Argus anymore. I, I'm just going to ignore those requests. Um, the other thing is, guys, that you know this definitely is not the Argus. Um, you know, in level one, it still needs a little bit of help, but it's it's just still not that bad at all. I mean, I, I mean, this is platinum. I'm running through it. I can I can only imagine that on silver and bronze, this must be amazing, and on gold, it must be really really good too. So, um, I definitely recommend it. Um, I wouldn't say I give it two thumbs up or an A plus on it yet. Um, but so far, from the way it's working right now, I can only imagine at the higher levels now. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how it will be. If I can get it to at least level 5, that would be really, really nice. And maybe I'll do a review if I do ever get it to level 10. Um, if that happens, you know, we'll see because of the way the store works. It likes to troll me. I, it seriously is like a little troll in there and, and he likes to laugh. Now, you guys might say, well, no, Invader. You have not been trolled. You have everything maxed out. But if you look at the amount of hours I've played this game, guys, I've played this game probably more than you guys. <laughs> um, it's not that I'm playing this game all the time. It's just that I've played it a little bit more. You know, I've actually taken out time to, you know, daily play an hour or whatever. When I first started, you know, I wanted to hit it hard. I really wanted to pay my dues and, you know, go up the ranks. And, you know, this is one of those games that I just loved. And I saw that there was a multiplayer. And I wanted to be a contender. You know, I wanted to get up there. I wanted to go right ahead and play with some of the top guys. And I wanted to be a really really good player in this game and I wanted to learn everything that I can about it so I did you know I definitely put in my time and if you guys ever want to look at my manifest if you guys ever want to see what weapons I have and you guys want to see everything that I have whatever you guys don't know may not know this but you can go to the buyer social network and uh, right there you'll be able to see uh, the N7 HQ where you can see your own manifest oh wow <laughs> Guys, I have to stop there. Did you guys see that Banshee War Ball? That, 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 that is insane. I, 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 I'm glad I caught that. It's, that thing just looped around. And got me. A anyways, guys. I, whatever. That, that was just amazing to me. I, that was just crazy. Um, but anyways. Um, so yeah, you can go to N7HQ. And uh, you can look up my manifest. You can look up you know other people's manifests. And, um, you know, if you want to look at what I have, then that's fine. Go right ahead. And, and I again, like I told you guys, I have every gun maxed out, every weapon maxed out. I, I, I think I have a bo over a thousand hours of game gaming on this game uh, so far at the moment. So, yes, I've played this game quite a bit. And I'm also playing Halo 4 right now, guys. And, I will, you know, I, will, I have some gameplay up in there for Halo 4. So you guys can click on that. Um, you can watch the campaign. There are people, you know, which have told me, hey, you know, I'm always on PC. Halo, has, Halo 4 hasn't come to the PC yet. You know, so whatever. I'm glad that you're po po posting these up. And, and those are all live commentary, guys. By the way, guys, I can do live commentary now. Um, so... Um, you guys have requested it. Um, if you guys can post some ideas as to what 
kind what kind of thing you would like to see like what game you would like to see live commentary you know give me a platinum idea maybe a challenge or something and I would do some live commentary and uh, you guys will get to hear how I sound in game sometimes I get frustrated sometimes I'm happy most of the times I'm just joking around and just having fun with everybody <laughs> that's pretty much how I am I don't know I'm just a pretty chill you know player uh, uh, like I haven't played like in all honesty I could put my what we call my try hard pants on you know and I'll play really hard if I want to um, I don't know, but we really, I just play Platinum or any, any difficulty for fun, you know, I'm just having fun, I just want to see what I can do, try something different, you know, try different builds, and, you know, it's just a lot of fun for me, and getting to meet new people, and then helping them along, that's pretty much my model, guys, um, I, my background, and my philosophy is to pretty much help others, you know, and build other people up, um, and, and you know that's pretty much how I was raised up that's my family that's how we all are we usually try to help everybody out as much as we can and um, you know that's, that's what we do I'm not perfect <laughs> I fail on that but I try to bring that into my gaming experience where I am definitely you know if I can help you guys out in any way I will try you know I would definitely definitely try just don't send me any spam messages you know like please don't send me like 10 messages in a row that you want to play with me because that just doesn't help. <laughs> I've had that before Well, I'm, you know, doing a video or doing something and I'll get about maybe, I don't know, 10 messages in a row from the same person saying that they want to play with me. Um, you know, that that's not too cool because it's it's tough, you know. Most of the time I have notifications so, notifications off so it doesn't bother, but then I come back and I see like 10 messages. It's a little crazy. But anyways, guys. Um, the N7 Valkyrie, really, really good gun. I like it. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing it at a higher level. That's about all I can say to it. Um, you know, if you don't use the Turian, definitely you need Stabilization Dampener. But so far, it's a really, really good gun. Um, and you see that, you know, you see that in this gameplay. It does, does very, very good. And I'm still getting some really good kills, but I think at a higher level, this gun must be a beast. And, uh, and I think it deserves to be that way. It deserves to be really powerful because it is one of those promotional weapons. It's one of those weapons that will take you forever to level up because you got to keep on playing these weekend challenges. So, you know what? This gun better be really, really strong um, at level 10. And I believe that it will be. I hope that it is. And... Um, that's about all I can say to that because if I get it to level 10 and it's just the same as now, it, I'm going to be very disappointed. Um, so anyways guys, that's all I have to say in regards to that. Um, and uh, I decided just to play here in the new Firebase White. Um, I'm actually enjoying this Firebase White guys because I, you know, I didn't enjoy Firebase White before. I never used to play Firebase White before because uh, this game just there's a lot of people doing um, a lot of camping on this map doing a lot of uh, what they call farming on this map which was you know firebase white get gold at, at the time and I, I could just never play that I, I I could never understand how people could just play that over and over and over and over and over. I just I just cannot I really I it didn't make any sense to me because this gun this game is so versatile this game is so much fun and gold is not one you know it's just not too hard like it, it is hard for many many people just getting into it. obviously you know guys I'm not being elitist here I'm just saying you know it's it's it is difficult it does have its difficulties but it is not a a, a, diff, a, a level of difficulty that you need to kind of camp out in a tiny little room just to survive. Um, learn your characters, learn your learn your powers, read up on its powers. You know, uh, go to my videos. You know, check out the builds. You know, get get some you know uh, get some tips and tactics. Go to the Bioware social network. Look up some information. You know, read up on the character. Look at the skill trees for your character and figure them out. So that way you can, you know, you can defeat the game at higher difficulties without having to camp anywhere, without having to just, you know, sit down in a corner, you know, etc. Learn how to use missiles, guys. Listen, missiles are very important. I, you know, a lot of people don't want to use their missiles or, you know, whatever. You know, use learn how to use them appropriately in the right waves. You know, 
uh, learn how to do spawn control, learn how to run the maps, you know, those kind of things, and learn each weapon on, you know, with different builds and try different ammo types. You know, these are all the kind of things that you want to do to be able to handle the higher difficulties. And uh, uh, for, for whatever reason, at some point, there were a lot of people doing Firebase White Gethco, and I never understood that because I just cannot do that. So I always had a, a Mass Effect buddy list, and we would just run everything else. We would run through gold. Um, very easily, but we would not, you know, we would not just, I, I just cannot do Firebase White, Geth Gold, and just hang out there. And a matter of fact, I think the few times that I got thrown into a Firebase White, Geth Gold game, I would pretty much just run around. I would just go on the top, and everybody would hate me, but I was just like, whatever, you know, I, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be in that room and just stay there. It was just... I don't know. It, it was just this boring as heck. I play for fun, and I'm, I, 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 I do enough. Uh, um, it, 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 I do so many monotonous things uh, when it comes to work or business that I don't need uh, something else to kind of remind me of that. <laughs> um, so, anyways, guys, you know, definitely the Valkyrie guys. Going back to it, it is definitely a good gun. I like it. Um, it, it is uh, definitely going to be on the top shelf. I will be using it again, um, but I don't know how much I am going to use it um, in, in, in the sense that it's not going to be a, con a gun that I will be using constantly at the moment because it's still at a very low level. Um, but I like it enough that I may just use it randomly here and there. I would like to level it up a little higher, and hopefully by the time I get it to like level 10, I can do another review um, if that's, you know pretty recent I don't know how long it will take me to get it to level 10 I really don't, don't know hopefully I don't know if I get lucky maybe nine more weekends <laughs> that'll work out but by that time I don't know we'll see what happens anyways guys um, this is with the Turing Havoc um, I do have a build for the Turing Havoc um, I'm putting it in the uh, a link here um, it is uh, available to you guys I didn't put the build because you guys have seen me do this build before um, and um, so that, that, that's about it. The, the build for the Turing Havoc that I choose that I totally spec out of a Havoc Strike. I put everything on everything else. Cryoblast, I put everything on the stim packs, and I put everything on health and fitness and training. So I, re I do not use Havoc Strike at all. Um, that's pretty much how I have it spec'd out. I have them spec'd out as 06666. So that's about it. Um, but anyways, guys. I hope you've enjoyed his gameplay. I hope that uh, you got something out of it, and um, that if you do get the Valkyrie, um, you know, enjoy it. You know, and uh, you know, it's actually a pretty, pretty good gun. I've heard mixed reviews. Some people don't like it. Some people, do, some people do. I personally do like it. Um, but, uh, but that's my opinion. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is Invader One. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. It definitely helps me out. And uh, Invader One out.